Maya from the Green Free Library here to share another story time with you. Two months of winter down, a few more to go. I want to welcome everyone who's watching and sing hi to our friends, new and old. Join me. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Hi to Anna and Peter, Andrew and Kate, Quinn and Sori, and Stanley and Henry, and Lydia and Parker, and Ava and Veda, and Ella and Charlie, and Robbie and Ella, and Carolyn and Kinsley, Aliana and Killian, Asher and Zaley, Max and me. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Super job, guys. Let's sit down. Show me your hands. Open them. Shut them. Open them. Shut them. Give a little clap. Open them. Shut them. Open them. Shut them. Lay them in your lap. <laughs> Last time I said we'd be in a new month the next time we got together. And this is a winter month with several holidays in it, including Groundhog Day, Valentine's Day, and President's Day. The name of the month starts with the letter F. Does anyone know it? Oh, I think I heard someone say it. February, right. Let's get our board and see how we spell that word. <coughs> and there it is. F E B R U A R Y. February. And it's still one of our chilly month or chilly seasons. That's right. And here it is. What what is it called? Starts with a W. Winter. That's right. W I N T E R. Winter. That's our season or time of year. In honor of our new month, I made a new calendar. And here it is. Who knows what animal that is? A penguin, correct. And I also made little fish to mark the days because penguins like to eat fish. Today is February 1st, Wednesday, February 1st. But before we get to February, we have to finish marking off our days in January. That's right, because it was January when we got together seven days ago. So let's mark off these last days. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. All right. Let me find my glue stick. And then we'll get our snowflakes on there and mark those days, right? Put that over there. Ready to help me? We're starting with number 26, remember? 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. Okay, so now we can do February. And what did I say today was? Wednesday, February 1st? Yes. So we'll just put some glue on that day. Right? And let me get... I've got a little fish. I'll put it on there. Okay? And there it is. So that's seven days, right? Because we marked six days in January. And six plus one equals seven. Very good. Put penguin down there, okay? Tomorrow is February 2nd, which is Groundhog Day. Uh, have you ever seen a groundhog? Uh, it kind of looks like this. Alright, uh, groundhogs are members of the squirrel family 
and they have two large front teeth and sharp, strong claws because they're really good at digging. And they live in dens or burrows that they dig. Another name for a groundhog is a woodchuck. Maybe you've heard that word, right? Now, supposedly, on February 2nd, if the groundhog comes out of his den and sees a shadow, there will be six more weeks of winter. If it doesn't, spring will come early. Now, this is a special groundhog, okay? Um, there's a town in Pennsylvania called Punxsutawney, and there's a groundhog that lives in this town, and they call him Punxsutawney Phil. And in the morning on February 2nd, They'll bring Phil out of his den to see if he sees a shadow. Do you think he'll see a shadow this year? We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> I wrote a poem about a groundhog. And I have a little flannel board. And it goes like this. There he is. Groundhog, groundhog, in your den. When will spring come again? If you come out and see no shadow, we'll be done with ice and snow. But if your shadow you do see, there's a shadow, six more weeks of winter will be. <laughs> Want to do it again? Okay, you help me this time. Let's put the parts back. Do you know why I put this on there? What do you need to see your shadow? You need some sunshine, that's right. Okay, so, groundhog, groundhog, in your den, when will spring come again? If you come out and see no shadow, we'll be done with ice and snow. But if your shadow you do see, there's a shadow, Six more weeks of winter will be. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for helping me with that. I have some books about Groundhog Day to share. First is Gregory's Shadow by Don Freeman. Right before Groundhog Day, Gregory and his shadow get separated. What will they do? I don't know. You'll have to read and see. <laughs> And we have Groundhog's Day Off by Rob Perlman and illustrated by Brett Helquist. In this book, Groundhog gets tired of everybody only asking him questions about the weather. So he decides to take a vacation. And the people of the town try to get someone to replace Groundhog to predict the weather, but it doesn't go well. <laughs> and lastly, I have Groundhog Gets It Wrong by Jess Towns and illustrated by Nicole Miles. Now, Groundhog thinks that predicting the weather is going to be easy peasy. But when he says spring is coming and the next day there's a big snowstorm, he's in trouble. <laughs> so I'll take those books back to the library so you can borrow them. For our art project today, in honor of Groundhog Day, we're going to make a groundhog headband. You'll need a brown construction paper and white paper, scissors, and a stapler, and something to color with, and the activity sheet from the library website. Have an adult help you uh, print and cut out uh, the activity sheet, which is the groundhog's face, okay? And color that uh, with whatever you want, markers, crayons, pencils. Uh, then you wanna take the brown paper and make a headband. And usually about a two inch thick piece is good, all right? And depending on how big your head is, it will depend on how many pieces that you need. Uh, you're probably gonna need at least two, all right? And have an adult help you staple them together and measure your head and then staple it so that it fits you, okay? Then you wanna take your groundhog face that you just colored and staple that to the front of the headband, all right? And now you can put it on and you can pretend that you're uh, Punk's Tawny Phil and you can predict the weather tomorrow. See if you can be uh, right 
or roam. See if you match the groundhog, okay? <laughs> Will you see your shadow? <laughs> I don't know. That's all I have for today, guys. Uh, if you get a chance to come into the library, uh, check out our really nice winter display in the case right when you come in. Teresa and Ashley have done another wonderful job. It's all full of snowmen and winter books and lots of fun things. And also check out our water fountain. Hopefully we'll have the new display ready by then. Uh, I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is, but I'll give you a hint. Looks a lot like our calendar <laughs> for February, okay? Uh, all right. Take care, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.